Hey everyone, today I wanna to show you a very cool trick with conditional formatting that allows you to highlight or format a cell based on the value of an adjacent cell. So this is very helpful if you're trying to show week over week change, uh, improvement or degradation, or if you just are looking to see how two cells interact with one another, what the relationship is. And so very easy to do with conditional formatting. So just to jump into it, what we need to do First of all, and what we want to do is I, I want to look and see if week two, my cells or my sales for each of the different products are greater than in week one and highlight it so I can easily see that and, and report out on that. So what I want to do is go into uh, conditional formatting and you'll notice I have the range selected where I want this to apply. So I'm going to do conditional formatting and then new rule because we're going to create a new rule here. It's going to ask me what type of rule do you want? And this is one that we're going to use a formula. So we're going to use a formula to identify if week two is greater than week one. So that's what we're going to select. And then it's going to ask format values where this formula is true. So what formula are we going to use to identify this uh, conditional formatting? So we do equal because, again, this is a formula in Excel. And then we're going to do open parentheses there and C3, which is this cell is greater than B3, and then close parentheses. So now we, we know what, how we want to identify the cells. Uh, we just then need to hit format. What do we want to do to the cell? So you can adjust the number, the font, the border. I just want to do a fill that is green for the cell. So then I'm going to hit OK there. You can do whatever you want, yellow, red, whatever that might be. Then we're going to hit OK. So you'll notice right away that that worked. We can see that for Toyota and BMW, we had more sales in week two than in week one. And so that's very good, very useful to see. But let's say we wanted to spread this across the total week ranges. What I'm going to do, instead of just creating new rules for each different, uh, different row, I'm just going to do a format painter. So double click that. And then if you click the top cell in each row, it's just going to automatically fill it in. And so we can easily see where we have been improving week over week. So um, in the case of Ford, we can see we, we have sales spike in week three and then it dips. And then it spikes week five and then it dips. And so it's just a very easy way to quickly see trends in your data and, and highlight things that need some attention there. Uh, let's say it doesn't work or there's an issue where you want to make some sort of modifications. Very easy to do. All you have to do is click on conditional formatting manage rules and you might see that there are no rules in your current selection so maybe you're you're highlighted some random cell that doesn't have the conditional formatting all you have to do is go to instead of current selection do this worksheet it will show you all of the rules that were just created because you formatted it so you can go in and then you hit if you want to select a rule you can just do hit edit rule format let's instead of do red we want to do yellow we'll hit ok and then okay okay again hit apply and then in that last g is g greater than f row it's going to give you yellow instead of red let's say it doesn't work for you at first something that i would recommend checking is just making sure that it applies to the right range so you have like i said at the beginning make sure you have that range selected where you want that conditional formatting to take place and so again this is a very useful trick very helpful with data visualization go ahead and check it out let me know if you have any questions or please let me know if you'd like me to make any other uh, other videos and please remember to subscribe to the excel guy thanks